Shoes, shoes, and more shoes. Many women have a major infatuation with shoes. Hi, I'm Kathy Burns, a professional organizer, stylist, and the founder of Add Space to Your Life. After working with hundreds of clients as both a professional organizer and an image consultant, I've determined why most women love to shop for and have fun wearing shoes more than any other clothing item. You see, even while our weight is upsizing and downsizing, our shoe size remains basically the same, give or take a half size. Not only do our feet consistently stay the same size, they never create a humiliating shopping experience. Shoes are kind. They don't make us feel fat or accent bulges in all the wrong places like a bad pair of jeans or a too snug blouse. In fact, more often than not, the right pair of shoes makes us feel sexy, powerful, and ready to take on the world. So this, in my own humble opinion, is why we typically end up with more shoes than we can reasonably fit into our closet. My most common organizing challenge is how to fit the largest amount of shoes into the smallest amount of space. With this goal in mind, the common shoe rack rarely solves this problem. The shoe rack takes up a lot of floor space. Now don't get me wrong, floor space can be useful at times, but it also collects dust bummies when cluttered, disorganized, and filled wall to wall. So what I'd like to do today is to go into shoe organizing devices, all the options that you have out there for yourselves, and what I like and what I don't like about each product, and then let you make your own decision on how you'd like to organize your shoes. Keeping in mind, the most important thing is that you do organize your shoes. The Canvas Hanging Shoe Organizer is my all-time favorite device. I use it in oh, so many clients and I have it in my own closet. There are a lot of reasons that I like this. As a professional organizer, I love the fact that it takes up vertical space as opposed to horizontal space. This little shoe organizer only takes up about six inches in width and yet holds 10 pairs of shoes. So think about this girls, you can have 40 pairs of shoes lined up within less than 30 inches of, of horizontal space. This works great if you have extra pole space, uh, you know, not the high low, but extra long hang space that you don't use, you can use these brilliantly. I have several in my closet. So they're easy too, because they're easy to put onto your pole. It doesn't take a handyman or anything. They have hooks. Some of them have Velcro that hangs right over the rack, right over the pole. You can just Velcro it right on. On. And again, I like it because the shoes face forward and you can look at them straight on and see exactly what you have and pick out and throw in, you know, throw in, put away, take out very, very easy without having to open anything and they're right there at your access. That's why I love this little shoe bag. This is an alternative of a shoe bag. It's still called the hanging shoe bag. I use this whenever my clients work out a lot because what I can do with this little device is I can put the shoes, I can also put the sweatpants and the t-shirts in the shelves and then I can put bras, you know, jogging bras and socks in the side pockets. And so, you know, all together, all their workout wear is all in one fell swoop right in their closet. It makes it very easy to run out the door and jog or go to the train or whatever they're doing. So the side pockets really add a dimension to this particular shoe bag. The side-by-side -side hanging shoe bag is another option on the theme. This works well if my clients don't have the vertical pole space, but they do have a back of the door. A lot of my clients in small apartments or townhomes or condos uh, don't have, you know, like this closet that's depicted, not a lot of closet space, but they do have back of the door. So they're clear. You can also see the shoes. You know, I don't like it as much as the other hanging shoe bag because you don't see your shoes straight on. And sometimes, you know, if you have higher heels, it's hard to get them in or out. But but they do work well and they hold 30 pairs of shoes. So uh, it is definitely an option. Now I've also installed these so that they can hang from the ceiling from you can take a towel rack and support that from the ceiling you know hang it upside down believe it or not uh, which I've done uh, before and then have it hanging there you can also hang it on the pole should you decide that you want to hang it on a long hang pole so it is kind of flexible and it works in a lot of different ways and holds a lot of pairs of shoes. Shoe storage boxes are a given. In fact, I use a Sterilite shoe box everywhere, all throughout the house, including to store shoes in. I have several on the top shelf of my closet, and I use these for my off-season or my specialty shoes. I like the shoe box because it keeps the dust bunnies off. It keeps shoes up and out of the way. I particularly like the clear box because you can actually see in it. 
And, and you see with these ballet flat boxes, you can fit even more in a vertical space because they're, they're shallower for the ballet flats. And then uh, there's the canvas organizer too that has the door on the front. I don't like these as well because you can't see them as much, although they do serve the purpose of stacking and keeping your shoes protected. But you see if we had a four inch stiletto in this particular, wouldn't really work. I think really these are designed more for gent shoes if you ask me, gentlemen's shoes. The next way to store is going back to the back of the door's shoe storage, and there are several devices you can use. Uh, this again is good in an extremely small closet. The wire rack is available. The, the asset to this is that it just hooks right over the top of the door. See, it has a little hook right there. The downside is that shoes can sometimes fall off of this, and also they can get mangled. If it, you know, if you have um, a really good shoe, you probably wouldn't ha want to hang it onto a wire shoe rack. But it works well for uh, for some purposes and when you're in a real confined amount of space. The back of the door shoe pocket is excellent. It does protect your shoes and it does keep them, you know in the pockets and they don't fall out. The thing that you have to watch out for is if they don't, if you have a really good shoe, sometimes it gets smushed and get into the, um, putting it into the pocket here. These work really exceptionally well for kids' shoes and kids' kids toys and things like that. So uh, it is a solution. Again, it's a lower profile than the wire rack. So if you have less of amount of space on the back of your door before it hits uh, the closet hangs, it might be a good alternative for you. Shoe cabinets are awesome whenever you don't have any closet space at all and you need, it basically creates a closet outside of your closet for your shoes. This particular device is really cool because the, the doors flop down and your shoes just slide right in. In fact, most of them are designed this way, although there are some where you just open the door and there are shelves in there, but I like the drop down part. It works really well, again, for a closet outside of a closet. And I like this particular one, the three stacker, generally because most of my clients have more than a two stacker amount of shoes but also what I do frequently is I put the jewelry box on top with a mirror and so that way shoes and jewelry are all kind of right there together and it adds just another dresser idea and a place to put jewelry on as well as shoes so you know it does keep it keeps the dust out it makes it look nice and neat there's not piles of shoes everywhere so the shoe cabinet is not a bad idea the shoe bench is a variation on this theme. I use this a lot whenever my clients are looking to create mud rooms so they don't have a mud room in their house and they want a place, especially for their children, to drop their shoes before they enter the house and bring in all the dirt and grime. You can place the wooden shoe bench right by the door where your kids enter and uh, you know, right inside the garage door, right inside the front door. And the great thing about this is the kids can put their shoes here. If they're little smaller children, you can get baskets so that they can just pull it out and dump their shoes in the basket as opposed to lining it on the shelf. They can sit down, take their shoes on and off. And if you don't put baskets down here, they could perhaps throw their backpack in underneath here. You can also put hooks above to make it into even more of a mudroom uh, type of effect so they can hang their coats and their bags on it. Uh, but this is it's a good little idea and it is more like a piece of furniture so it looks nice. This is the end of part one. I just wanted to give you some ideas. We're out of time, but I will have this continued in part two with many, many more organizing devices and they'll be featured. So, you know, remember, it doesn't matter how you organize your shoes. It only matters that you do. So go out there, have some fun, check back in with me for part two of this series and see even more organizing devices. You can also receive a free book, 33 Organizing Tips to Transform Your Life. If you visit my website, add space to your life. I uh, sign it off now. I'll see you in part two.